Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for August 27th, 2019. So as we are winding down August, wow, what a what a mess we have in these charts. Um, yesterday we got this really nice bounce up and it struggled. It struggled with that bounce. Um, we just didn't seem to have a whole lot of momentum um, in that move yesterday. Uh, finishing the day nicely positive. But um, let's take a look at the technicals here and see what we have to, to uh, you know, base some trading on. Uh, a lot of confusion, a lot of uncertainty continues in the market. Um Clearly, there's considerable um, uncertainty. Yes, we have the president talking positively about a potential um, re-engagement of U.S.-China trade negotiations, but still very little answers to a lot of questions and a lot of uncertainty as to whether or not they will actually re-engage what... what um, what the outcome will be. You know, it's about time we get some kind of progress. Um, you know, we we can, uh, well, you know, the old saying, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. And I think the market is kind of reacting that way. Um, are, is this just another one of those news-driven, spin-driven um uh, news articles trying to uh, bait folks into uh, the market when there's still so much uncertainty. Big questions, not many answers um, at the moment. And we're kind of seeing that in that, um, well, uh, probably insipid price action is how I describe it. Um, we did have that nice move up, but boy, it struggled to make that occur yesterday. So let's take a look at what we've got. Now, if you look at this very, very closely, a person could see the possibility of a little inverted head and shoulders pattern down here, holding along that 200 day moving average. Now that is positive. As long as we can hold along that 200 day moving average, that is certainly positive. But at the same time, we still have significant levels of resistance here that the market has to deal with and overall a downtrend in play that we still must come to grips with. And although we're trying to put on a brave face this morning, uh, we've been pretty flat. Um, Asian markets closed pretty darn flat. European markets pretty flat. We're responding positively right now. We've recovered from negative numbers as we kind of move through that morning pump up. It seems to be the method of the market anymore where we're institutionally we pump everything up trying to get inspire those buyers to get moving. But, you know, they could also be responding to some of those earnings reports this morning. So let's give them the benefit of the doubt uh, as they try to lift us up here toward these resistance levels in the chart. Lots of work has to be done for us to start breaking through those resistance levels. And let's keep in mind our shorter term moving averages have moved down, creating resistance right through this area. And we still have that 50-day movie average above that's flattening out and may start to soon roll over. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY certainly not engendering a whole lot of confidence either. Um, it is a bonus that we have held this low here, slightly higher low, and we're trying to move up but we still have the this rounding 50-day uh, moving average starting to round, flatten off, and possibly start to show that turn to the downside. And we have significant levels of price resistance in the chart that we must still deal with if we're going to uh, move on through these levels. We need some kind of clarity in the market, and I'm just not sure we're going to get that. Um, at least at the moment, we're we're struggling with this. Are we going to be fooled one more time? So when you take a look, um, we're getting just a little tiny lift here this morning. 
pushing up um, on these, um, what I'm guessing to be positive earnings results. And we're fluctuating around considerably. When I started this video, we were up 45 points in the Dow futures. We're now up 27. So that volatility continues to remain pretty high as we uh, float around here quite a bit. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now the Qs also giving us that, so just that little bit of hope with those little higher lows right in there but we still have this significant technical damage above with that 50-day moving average starting to flatten out here just a little bit might start to roll over here before too long and we have all of these this price resistance that we have to deal with in the chart we've got to get back through there and we need some kind of clarity for that um, something to really inspire those bulls Otherwise, those those bears are just going to continue to line up here and provide that resistance uh, to the upside. So difficult, difficult decisions to be made here. A little bit tough uh, to decide how to trade. If we take a look at IWM, IWM, although it did rally yesterday nicely and is showing a nice little move up this morning, um, certainly this chart engenders very little confidence at all in this overall downtrend, continuing this still downtrend here. We're hold, we held on to this support level, which is wonderful. We held on to that, but there's a lot of work before IWM really comes back into any kind of place that would um, even appear to be bullish, unless you just want to speculate off one of these lows. Let's take a look at the VIX. That VIX bounced up pretty strongly off of that price support uh, that I've been mentioning here for a long time. Bounced up strongly. And even though yesterday we had a, a nice rally, notice that we didn't really give up a whole lot of that fear in the market. That uncertainty is really just palpable in the market right now. There's just so much uncertainty. And the market just doesn't know what to do with itself. Um, how many times are we going to be full, fooled by news spin that really goes nowhere? And so right here, we're, we're, we've got these decisions to make here in fear. Um, it is nice that this is holding this downtrend. Any kind of rest or pullback in here. We want to watch this closely for a potential of a higher low. If we don't catch a higher low, a pullback into here, watch that level of support again in the chart. We need some clarity to kind of clear some of this up. And um, hopefully, hopefully someday soon we'll, we'll get that clarity. But for now, just an awful lot of uncertainty for us to deal with. Let's take a look at T2122 which is that four week new high, new low ratio. Very interesting, even with that strong of move that we had yesterday, we really didn't respond very much here in T2122. Um, meaning that there's a lot of stocks out there that still just kind of wandered and struggled and had a difficult time getting going yesterday. Um, that's showing that just that uncertainty here in the market. So let's keep in mind that we still have plenty of upside potential here in the market. If we can find our mojo, if we can get a little clarity, um, we've got plenty of upside potential here. But also let's keep in mind that we've kind of opened the door for that possibility of that that pullback as well. So kind of keep that in mind. We're still not out of the woods here. There's a lot of work that needs to be done to correct some of, uh, well, to correct the technical damage in these charts. Let's take a look at the economic calendar here this morning. The economic calendar may have something to say about the market today, but it's not a big deal. We we have um, S&P CoreLogic, uh, that Case Shiller number coming up. So we'll want to keep an eye on that at nine o'clock. Can move the market around for sure and for certain, and particularly if there is um, a surprise in the number. Um, and then also the consumer confidence number can certainly move the market around. Other than that, probably not much here to really get us going in a big way um, on, on that economic calendar. But a little bit of something to say um, if those numbers were to surprise.
On the earnings calendar today, we have about 37 companies reporting earnings this morning. And those earnings are rolling in um, this morning. We have um, ADSK, ADSK that will be reporting. We have um, VEEV that will be reporting. Looks like uh, maybe gapping up reporting slightly positive maybe i'm not sure if it reports this morning or this afternoon uh bmo bmo reporting today we'll have to keep an eye on these charts um, um as they report this morning so lots of uh potential um um reports that could move the market around looks like sjm smuckers has um, jelly not doing so good apparently um, slipping lower this morning and not following through to the upside so a little bit of concerns in places overall earnings have come in very strong this year and we're going to have to watch them uh, pretty closely this morning as well so with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day, and I want to wish you great profits in your trading. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube? Click those thumbs up buttons and leave me a comment. You know, the purpose of these videos is not to predict anything. It's to help you prepare for your day, how you want to approach uh, the market for today. And if you find these videos useful, you know, please, please do that. Um, click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. It's those, it's those comments and, and thumbs ups that really help um, the algorithm of, of YouTube show these videos to more folks. If, if, if they're liked, um, they show these videos to more people. And I really have to tell you guys, I appreciate so much um, you taking the time to do that. Yesterday, I was so busy, I didn't get a chance to even uh, do much response to those. I will try to do a better job with that today, respond uh, more to those. And um, as as we move along here today, um, it's going to be a very busy day um, today. So kind of keep that in mind. By the way, I um, also want to give everyone a reminder that tonight um, I am doing a public e-learning class. So you might want to watch for that public e-learning class in our trading room three. Um, try to come on over. Um, everyone is welcome uh, to our public e-learning classes. I'll be doing that tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So watch for that. With that, everyone, hey, um, let's take a look at some stocks that are still trying to set up, stocks that are still looking pretty good overall and um, may have some potential in in uh, trades take a look at amgen amgen yesterday really nice move up yesterday nice bullish candle gonna be tucking itself against some resistance here you can see we have overhead resistance here we have some price resistance right here that we have to deal with this was a significant move up um, on earnings and what I would suggest is that what's happening here is our trend trajectory has changed. We've gone from relatively um, flat trend to a rather steep trend. So watch this pretty closely. Amgen's looking good and could move on through uh, uh, for an upside move. TTWO, I mentioned this one yesterday. TTWO holding up quite well, holding into its trend. Now this still has that possibility that this could consolidate for a little bit more before it moves on up. But right now I got to tell you, I really like the way this is handled, uh, this market stress, the market pullback that we've experienced. Um, it's barely wavered here in TTWO. So let's watch this closely if that can start pushing. Um, itself on higher um, good chart to be keeping an eye on Home Depot Home Depot is also a chart we might want to keep an eye on Home Depot now had a nice strong move up on its earnings report following through and we're testing these resistance levels out here um, in the chart and that's right through here testing those resistance levels whether we're going to hold that or not I can't tell you but we want to watch this level let's move up if we can get this lighter pullback maybe even a consolidation over here 
watch for um, um, Home Depot maybe to move on through. Looking pretty good overall. Lots of stocks yesterday had nice little recoveries. Procter & Gamble was one of those. We had this ugly sell-off here on Friday, but we essentially recovered that entire move um, yesterday. So watch this this morning. P&G may be looking for that um, resumption of the trend. We want to keep an eye on that. You can see where my price alert is on this chart. Also, I want to remind everyone that even though I show a lot of charts in these videos, um, I want you to understand showing a chart is not a recommendation to buy or sell any trade. It is uh, merely something for study and um, you want to maybe put those on your watch list and evaluate those for potential trades for yourself. But there is no recommendation to buy or sell anything um, in these videos in these videos, excuse me. Um, WDC, WDC. Now this one I'm a little bit concerned about that this could actually fail. We need a bit of recovery and you can see this morning we're getting a little bit of a push up this morning um, in this move. I don't wanna see this failing at this double top here, but it certainly could be the case. If we can push right back up into this area and recover, um, in a stronger market, we may be okay, but we'll want to watch this one fairly closely. Overall, it could go either direction really, really easily. I've been keeping an eye on um, Caesar's Palace, CZR, as a potential failure. Came really close to making that failure occur on Friday, and as I suggested yesterday, it looked like it was going to bounce back. I want to watch this really closely in this little wedge pattern that's being formed here. If this were to bounce back up in here and fail, there may be an opportunity to short that uh, right on through and uh, possible even drop into this gap. We'll have to keep an eye on it. There's certainly um, no reason to rush to that trade um, at the moment. Take a look at Tyson. Tyson recovered uh, very nicely from Friday. Um, pushing back up, Tyson looking really good. Those defensive sector stocks still hanging in there really well um, yesterday. Um, while we're pointing out those defensive sector stocks, you probably want to take a look at Coke. Coke moving right back up yesterday, um, bouncing off of that low on Friday. Now, Coke has some resistance up here. It needs to challenge. We need to pop through this area, but if we pop through this area, I would see some more upside possibly coming here in Coca-Cola. It's holding up really, really well, looking good um, overall. Take a look at Mitch, MTCH. MTCH, nice little consolidating move here. It's, it's obviously a big gap up on earnings, pulling back, holding trend, trying to rally up out of there. I think this may consolidate a few more days right through here. But I would watch this fairly closely uh, for that potential move uh, to pop and move on up out of that level. So worth keeping an eye on. I, I certainly would not want to be chasing this, but certainly worth watching pretty closely. You know, I've been mentioning Starbucks over and over and over, and Starbucks continuing to struggle along with this crummy market, struggling along in this sideways pattern recovered significantly yesterday on this move. Starbucks needs to pop on through here, move on up. You might want to keep an eye on uh, Starbucks um, looking overall pretty darn good. So, well, there's a few charts for you to take a look at, a few charts maybe for your list. Hopefully you find something in there that um, uh, could inspire you to uh, maybe uh, draw up some charts and, and prepare for potential trades. Um, good potential trade. There's a lot of them out there after yesterday's move. A lot of good potential trade setups. But we have to remain just a little bit cautious with this tentativeness that we're seeing in the overall market. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all the best. And if you're struggling as a trader, just never give up. Um, you know, dig in there, do a little bit more practice, continue to work at this. Um, believe me, if I can figure this out, just an old carpenter um, can figure this out and, and figured out how to make a living doing this for the last uh, 15 years full time. 
Um, anyone can, believe me. Um, nothing special about me other than my dedication and work ethic to just continue to push forward, continue to work hard at um, this craft of, of um, trading. Um, it's, it's very re rewarding um, once you kind of get things figured out. So everyone, I want to wish you all a great day. We'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one, guys.